What's up, future master growers? I'm Virtual Loco, your AI grow partner, and man, am I pumped to get you started. Look, today we're gonna lay the foundation for an absolutely killer harvest. We're talking about the one, the only, most important piece of gear you'll ever buy. Let's dive in. So let me ask you something, straight up. If you had to put all your chips on one single piece of gear for your indoor grow, where would you put your money? Would it be the tent, the fancy soil, maybe those expensive nutrients? Nope. If you said anything other than your light, you gotta think again. Listen, your grow light isn't just some bulb you screw in. It is the freaking sun for your indoor garden. It's the engine, the power plant, the heart of your entire operation. Everything from that first little sprout to those huge, frosty, gorgeous buds, it all comes from that light. Plain and simple, the quality of your light equals the quality and the weight of your harvest. All right, so here's the game plan for today. We're gonna master this whole light thing. First up, we're picking our power plant. Then we're gonna decode the language of light. After that, we'll figure out how to size your indoor sun just right. And to wrap it up, we'll learn how to actually listen to your plants. Stick with me and you'll be lighting up your grow like a total pro in no time. Okay, let's jump right into section one, your grow's power plant. We're talking about choosing your engine, LED versus everything else. See, to really get why your light is everything, you gotta understand how a plant eats. It's not munching on soil, right? Its real food is light. They take that light energy, mix it with CO2, and bam, photosynthesis. That's how they make the sugars they need to grow big and strong. But here's the thing. Plants are kinda picky eaters. They don't just use any old light. They're only interested in a very specific slice of the rainbow, and we call that photosynthetically active radiation, or PAR. So right now, I want you to forget every other light term you've ever heard. Lumens, lux, that's for us humans. For growing, we only care about par. That's it. It's the only number that matters. All right, time for a little showdown. In this corner, we've got modern, slick LED lights. And in the other corner, the old school champ, HPS lights. Ding, ding, ding. And... It's a first round knockout, folks. It's not even a fair fight. LEDs are way more efficient. They run so much cooler and get this, they last up to 20 times longer. For a new grower, it's a no brainer. LEDs just make everything easier. And this right here, this is all about where your money goes. Think of an HPS light like a gas guzzling muscle car from the 70s. It's cool, I guess, but it's loud, it gets super hot, and it wastes like 70% of its fuel just turning into heat. A modern LED though, that's your Tesla. Sleek, efficient. About half the electricity you pump into it turns directly into usable light. Less waste equals a much happier wallet when that electricity bill comes. So how do we actually measure that awesome efficiency? We use something called PPE, which stands for Photosynthetic Photon Efficacy. Whoa, big words, right? Don't worry about it. Just think of it like the miles per gallon rating for your light. It's that simple. A higher PPE number just means you're getting more bang for your buck, turning those watts from your wall into powerful par for your plants. And here's our main man, Sid the Stoner Sloth, with a super important tip. He's telling you, when you're shopping, you gotta look for that PPE number on the box. You'll see this weird unit, mu moles slash J, that's just a fancy way of saying micromoles per joule. All it really means is plant food per watt of electricity. So if you see a number like 2.6 or even better, you know you're getting the good stuff. A top quality, super efficient engine for your grow. Okay, one last super important thing about the hardware. Your grow tent, it's gonna be a jungle in there. Hot, humid, a lot of moisture. And we all know water and electricity are not friends. That's why you need to look for an IP65 rating. That basically means your light is built like a submarine. It's sealed tight against dust and water. This isn't just a nice to have people, it's a non-negotiable safety feature that's gonna make sure your light lasts for years. All right, we picked out our engine. Now it's time to learn how to drive this thing. Welcome to section two, decoding the light language. This is where we learn what your plants need to hear and see. It's all about giving them exactly what they want right when they want it. Okay, first word in our new language, PPFD. Think of it like this. It's the raw power of the light hitting your leaves right now. Kind of like the difference between morning sun and the intense sun at high noon. And you're the one in control. You can change the PPFD with two simple tools, that dimmer knob on your light and how high or low you hang it from the ceiling. And that brings us perfectly to our next term, DLI or daily light integral. So if PPFD is just one byte, 
DLI is the entire meal. It's the total amount of light your plant soaks up over the whole day. And let me tell you, this metric, DLI, is arguably the most important one if you want to maximize your final harvest. And our boy Sid is back with the perfect way to think about it. DLI is your plant's daily calorie count. It's the all-you-can-eat buffet, so it doesn't matter if your lights are on for 18 hours in veg or 12 hours in flower. You have to adjust the intensity, the PPFD, to make sure your plant gets its full plate at the buffet every single day. Plants are smart, you know. They also get signals from the color of the light. Think of blue light like a drill sergeant during the veg stage. It's yelling, get down, stay short, build a strong, bushy foundation. But then, when it's time to flower, the red light kicks in, and it's telling the plant, all right, time to reach for the sky and start making those big, beautiful buds. And any good full-spectrum LED is going to have plenty of both. Okay, theory time is over. Let's get our hands dirty. Welcome to Section 3, Sizing Your Indoor Sun. This is the game plan. We're going to match the right amount of power to your grow space so you can get awesome results right from the start. And the best part? No guesswork. This chart makes it dead simple. Just find your tent size on the left, and boom, it tells you exactly how many watts you need from your LED to get those thick, heavy flowers we all want. So like, for a super common 2x4 tent, you're looking for a light that pulls about 240 to 320 watts. Easy peasy. And here it is, your foolproof playbook for the dimmer. Listen to me, do not blast your little baby seedlings with 100% power. That's like putting a newborn in direct desert sun. You'll fry them. We start them off gentle, at like 20% power for the first couple of weeks. Then, as they get bigger and stronger, you just slowly crank up that dial following this schedule. This keeps them happy and growing like crazy. All right, we're at our final section. And honestly, this is the most important skill you will ever learn. We're talking about listening to your plants, reading the signs of light stress. Look, all these charts and schedules, they're great starting points. They're your guide. But your plant, your plant is the final judge. Learning to read its body language is what separates the beginners from the masters. And believe me, your plants will talk to you. You just have to learn their language. If the light's too weak, they'll stretch and stretch, reaching for it, getting all tall and flimsy. That's how you end up with sad, airy popcorn buds. But if the light's too strong, the leaves will start screaming for help. The tips will turn yellow or even white, and the edges might curl up, looking like a little taco. These are not subtle hints, they're clear SOS signals. So what do you do if you see those stress signals? First thing, don't panic. The fix is so, so simple. You either raise the light up a few inches or you just turn that dimmer knob down a little bit. That's it. You are in complete control. Just listen to what the plan is telling you, make one small adjustment and watch how quickly it bounces back. Okay, let's wrap this up with the key takeaways. Number one, ditch the old tech. A modern LED is the only way to go. It's just smarter. Number two, learn the language. PPFD is the strength. DLI is the whole meal. Got it? Number three, stick to the plan. Match your wattage to your tent and use that dimmer schedule. And finally, and most importantly, be the sun. Watch your plants and give them what they're asking for. Look at that. You have the knowledge. You know what to do. You know how to pick the engine. You know how to speak the language of light. And you know how to read the signals. Your plant is ready to start its journey, so I only have one question for you. Are you ready to be its son? This course was put together by the amazing folks over at internetofpot.com. I'm your AI grow partner, Virtual Loco, signing off. Now get out there and make it happen. Happy growing.